What's going on everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video. We're looking at the Sunshine CTF. This is a challenge in their miscellaneous category. It's called Brain Meat. It says, I'm having a beef with someone that is so bad I can't even think. He sent me a message, but I think he was having a stroke. Please decipher the message while I beat him up. All right, cool. So uh, brainmeat.txt is the file that's given to us. Let's go ahead and copy that link location and let's w get it so we can work with it. I've created a directory already for us. So we have a brainmeat.txt. Let's go ahead and see what it actually is. I'm going to open it up in Sublime Text. I'll bring it down here so you can see it. And we have a lot of nonsense. Um, the, the pattern of capital letters and numbers and lowercase letters kind of reminds me of base 64 but I see some characters that aren't normally base 64 in there like um, like the opening square brace I don't normally see hyphens in there arrows greater than symbols less than symbols waka wakas whatever you want to call them um, so what we could do and why I tried to do this was actually uh, cut it up I tried to cut it up on hyphens but what you can do if you want to do that is cut out brain meat and then TR, so replace everything that is a hyphen with a new line. So now you get all the new line characters, then you can do a little while read line if you want to go through each of those lines and go ahead and decode them with base 64. But, you know, even then you're not going to get that to work because it's you still got all those stray characters in there. So you can see all of those will actually, yeah, all of those will fail. Dang. Okay. So back to the drawing board, um, eventually it hit me that the characters that are in the way or the things that it hasn't normally seen are brainfuck characters. And the title of the challenge being Brain Meat, I was like, oh, epiphany, obviously that's it. If they're trying to hide some brainfuck language in all this garbage the in that maybe there's just muddled in base 64 randomness so uh what i decided to do then is to go ahead and create a script that will loop through these because we know let's say user bin environment python just get a little shebang line in there um the brainfuck characters brainfuck characters are and you might not know these off the top of your head and that would, that's perfectly fine if you don't, but it's kind of just random characters and then their representative copy. So plus minus um, period comma and the greater than and less than symbols. So that should be the brain fit characters. So let's open up brain meat dot text and then in a dirty way let's just read from it so we've got the content. So let's say for C in content if that character is in the br possible brain foot characters, let's actually keep track of it. So let's just say uh, BF or something to have an array that we can keep track of all that in. So let's just do BF dot append that character. And then at the very, very end, we can print out that BF all put together. So let's see what we got here. And that looks like quite possibly brainfuck in my opinion. Uh, I would go ahead and put that in just a little tio.run because I know that that try it online utility. Again, mentioned CTF Katana. I'm sorry, I just bumped the microphone. I'm sorry, that might have that might have sounded bad. Uh, brainfuck. Not Brian. Brainfuck. Da, 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 da. There you are. I have my mouse over all along. Just paste that in there and son, fuck the brain. We got beef. Cool, cool. So that is that flag. Um, I took a little bit of staring at this for a long time to realize that, oh, those characters are there purposefully and it's ruining it because the challenge is called Brain Meat. So uh, that was the epiphany. It took a little bit of time, but hey, you stare at it long enough, eventually you'll try everything. And that is the lesson that I've learned through many Capture the Flag competitions is try everything. Even if you have an idea and you know it's going to take some effort and some time to like write it out, to like write the script, do not let that stop you. Try everything that might be, the flag might be under a rock that you just didn't check, but you knew that you, you, you had the idea to do so. So you'll beat yourself up for that a lot. And I've done that over the years. <laughs> All right, cool. That's that. Um, there is going to be a brainfuck interpreter as part of the automated version of Katana. Um, it actually is already written, but it's not 
functioning right <laughs> right now with the framework. Uh, so I would show that to you, but the brainfuck code is already in there um, in Python. So enough of me talking about Katana, enough of me talking, let's just close the video out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you like the video, join our Discord server. Link is in the description. Love to see you on Patreon. Love to see you on PayPal. Get out of YouTube. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,